The police negotiating team involved in a standoff with suspected gunman Raoul Moat have been joined by a friend of his as they try to end the incident without more violence. Moat's friend, Tony Laidler, has been taken to the scene. He's told he's going to his head, but there's no bullets in the gun, so he's just waiting for the... He's probably just thinking over what he's going to be doing and he wants to either point the gun at the police to get shot or he'll just turn himself in, whereas I think he'll just point the gun at the police. Moat can be seen here by the riverbank in Rothbury, lying on the ground and reportedly holding a shotgun to his head. For your own safety, if I can ask you to move back, please. Earlier, police had imposed an exclusion zone around the scene. Paula Mason's mother lives inside the boundary. So what, she, she, there was knocking on the door and that was from... No, the, the, she came to try and come out of the house. house. And then the police marksman said, get back inside. The marksman screamed at her, but there's woods just behind hers, behind where the man is. And um, there's marksman all over and she's absolutely terrified, she's in tears and I can't get her out. As police began to move, at least one police car crashed into another in the ensuing rush. Former England footballer Paul Gascoigne also arrived in Rothbury to offer his support for Moat.